Welcome to the whimsical world of Odd Sparks, where automation meets adventure. Today, Mo and Calvin are diving into the early stages of this unique game, exploring why teaming up can transform your gameplay experience. In Odd Sparks, the early game is all about unlocking the tools needed. You'll start in your home village, surrounded by untamed wilderness and untapped resources. Here's where the multiplayer aspect really shines. Mo likes to explore, and Calvin is the master of the machines. Automation is key in Odd Sparks. Early on, you'll need to set up basic resource gathering and processing. Calvin focuses on the automation and expansion, while Mo takes the glory and completes the quests. So whether you're a tinkerer at heart or an adventurer in spirit, Odd Sparks offers a unique canvas for your creativity and curiosity. Join us in this automation adventure where every game is a new story and every friendship opens possibilities. Why play alone when you can achieve so much more together? Unless you have no friends, in which case sucks to be you. So, as my good friend Mo always says, Grab that cup of tea, sit back, and I hope you'll enjoy. Press the any key. Ooh. Odd Sparks is in early access. Large Last major update was the 24th of April. We currently have two biomes and about 15 to 20 plus hours of content. Oh, I'm going to use a controller, but let me. It's clear there's no way you can fix the sheds, and you begin to clean up the area. As you clean the debris and shards of wood, you find a gleaming metal object. Yay! That's not his name. His name is Calvin, but it's just not the same. Calvin, Calvin. Timing is impeccable for both of you. Gleaming metal object. We call it Calvin. <laughs> In the middle of the mess. This must have been the, th the only time I'm actually freaking reading these things. This must have been the thing that crashed into the shed and destroyed your shed. Into the air. How's it going? Unsure of what it is, you pick up the strange metal object. It's warm to the touch. One person comes to mind as someone who can help figure out what it is. The Divine Researcher. The strange piece of metal you picked up from your broken shed comes alive. Oh dear. It wraps itself around your brooch and staff and suddenly a wealth of information enters your mind dazed you look at the ancient tablet near the researcher and realize you can understand the ancient writings the ancient tablet seems particularly wrecked but you can de definitely read some of the text something about magic devastation a spark something about hope you relate everything to the researcher you understand it this is incredible Amazing news. I O. Oh, you must look at the village monument for me. Holy crap, that's a lot of reading. Okay, time for me to take over. Mo is doing a rubbish job of telling you about this game, so let me do it. Welcome to the enchanting world of Odd Sparks, an automation adventure. In your first couple of hours, you'll find yourself in a cozy village, your starting point for a journey filled with automation and exploration. As you venture beyond your village, the game gently introduces you to its expansive, procedurally generated biomes. Small adventures await, offering a glimpse into the game's deeper mysteries and richer challenges. Your task? To build and optimize without traditional conveyor belts, managing spark traffic, and devising efficient pathways to transport resources. It's a world where every small decision impacts your burgeoning village setting the foundation for the complex automation systems and adventures that lie ahead. Get ready to unlock the secrets of the past and shape the future of your community with each new discovery. Anyway, let's get back to the gameplay. So you do all the automation and I'll just do all the exploration. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to get up to the point we leave town and then we can yeah. get cracking. Yeah. I'm just going to hang um, around and let you read the story and things. No worries. The monument opens up, opens up, revealing a large number of small slabs of stone. One appears in the middle with a single slot and a single button. 
You should tell the divine researcher about everything you found. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I see. That's like a slot then. You're not random, you pretty rooms. You're just pretty. Or handsome. Oh. Depending on which one you prefer. So am I driving the story then? And you're just yeah. you're just here. You're, you're yeah. my bitch, basically. Yeah. Got you. Sweet. Did you look at the Divine Monument yet? Tell me what you've seen. Don't keep this old man waiting. Blah, 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 blah. Complete. You describe everything you've seen when the village monument was activated to the Divine Researcher. Strange text. The slot that you could fit and ether shard. How it attempted to perform a cleansing pulse but failed. The Divine Researcher's natural smile falls as he tries to digest mm. everything. We've had individuals explore north past the woods and even past the mountains. The ones that travel furthest returned ill and talked about how the magic, the ether it's, itself, felt strange. Some had used the word corrupted. Oh my god, this is Conan Exiles all over again. Mm -hmm. um, it would explain a lot if the village monument could clean corrupted ether. It did seem odd that the, this place was so perfect to make a new village in. Mm. Sounds like we should turn it on. Okay. Oh. Hmm. You need an ether shard. That means you have to... That means you have to into the woods. F8! 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 Typo! Oh, I'm not putting that. I'm not doing that. That's my email. Optional. You're not supposed... Yeah. Oh, did it say optional? Yeah. It's alright. I wouldn't worry about doing bug reports. I'm sure there's people who have already reported that one. Good luck. Have a great adventure. You here? Pressing F9, that's why. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see the right, Let's go. What's, I guess I can't open, oh, can I open that yet? Oh, I can. That's where we put the stuff for his quests. Is it giving us a mission to, like, do something? Um, L for logbook. The only quest. There it is. Uh, exit through the old mine shaft, which is this way. Yeah, I remember this. I don't know how far I got with this. It wasn't far. It's something to do with these, isn't it? Well, to get the aether, we need to get there's little these little critter guys, but we can't. Kill them, we're looking for their corpses, so up here, northeast, yeah, there's these little corpse things. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Which are dead spinnies, which you can harvest and they'll drop out the aether crystals. Oh, and then that you give them to the monuments inside here and you get your sparks. But I guess you have to go back yeah. in. Yeah, I'd have just done the clear, so if you want to go ancient shrine outside so if you want to go examine the ancient shrine i'll just keep harvesting up resources and things um oh yeah uh, i've got it yeah there is a bigger map if you press m yeah don't want to examine that yet i think that is what you want you to examine examine the ancient shrine outside which I assume is that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it was telling me to go. Yeah, where the arrow was pointing. 120 FPS. Not bad. Oh. An ancient More than your stone. eyes and brain can comprehend. Uh -huh. Sorry. An ancient stone ruin stands in front of you. It's clear now that it's less of a shrine and more of a machine. It glows lightly under your touch, and the carvings on the stone begin to shift to create words. Test start. Attempting to create one stumpy spark. <laughs> Connection not found. Test failed. To reconnect, unlock function. Machine range zero. Go back to the village. Okay. Um. Access the village monument, which I've gone the wrong way, I think. Down here, isn't it?
Okay. So now exit through the old mine shaft. Oh, so there's tech in the mm. thing. There wasn't tech in the demo. Oh, was there not? No, they've added an extra step there, which could be interesting for later on. Right, get it, done that. Uh, examine the mic. Uh, yeah, okay. Ooh. Seems to be run some kind of test. And is checking that everything still works. <laughs> With the puff of magic, a stumpy spark turns into a wooden disc that fits in your hand. If the spark's deactivation is successful, the shrine states that it's now fully operational and ready to be assigned sparks. Strange metal in your staff changes and slots that can fit discs appear. You place it in the stumpy spark. No, sorry, you place it in and the stumpy spark begins to follow you. Noise. Let's go, dude. What you can tell it to do stuff. Complete the yeah. quest divine act divine research. Okay. We're gonna do that. So you've got I'm get you you you're on your own screen, aren't you? So it doesn't matter where I go. No, it doesn't matter where you go, no no. I'm just Smashing bushes and getting wood for the minute while I wait for you to do the questy bits. <laughs> so you're smashing bushes and getting wood. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind is as much in the gutter as roofs today. Oh no, I can't go that deep in the gutter. <laughs> I'm going to go that far. Okay, sorry. I'll take it back. Right, so I just added that into there. Machine range 2 unlocks all workstation shrines at range 2. Three workstations will be unlocked. Carry Spark Shrine, Lomi Spark Shrine and Choppy Spark Shrine. Okay, let's go. Um, so I need to complete the quest at the researcher. I think I might have done something too soon. I don't think it matters too much. You just did more researchy stuff. Mm -hmm. Exciting news! I was going through some old notes. And I found something on an unusual shrine. It always confused me because it didn't have a little creature on top. Mm -hmm. I don't think you found it yet. So I'll mark it on your map. Be careful out there, you hear? Don't get too close to the mantis stags. Okay. I'll do that. We, we do need you, Ruz. It's been decided that we're not in the gutter enough for your level. So that is already pinned. Okay, cool. Find the ancient shrine. Distiller shrine. Okay. That's the issue. Um, that's this way. When you come out, you go left. I've accidentally found it. I try not to explore too far. Um, I need to get some more of those. That shrine, that thingy. Did you collect it all? No. Okay. Do you want some more? There's some more in the thing here. Yeah, I want to make a um, make a thingy. Oh yeah, it's making them. Um, can I drop this? That's one in there already, is it? Yeah, so I give you one just then? I don't know what happened to that guy. I just had my... No, he's on the floor. There's one on the floor there, mate. I've just got one. Me. Okay. Got two now. Oh, you... Oh, Mo. <laughs> the one that was in there was crafting for us. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Transfer yeah. item. There you go. No, it's alright. I made another one. Oh, for God's sake! You have it. I'm sorry, I've manually crafted it now. You see that one? I'll put another one in there and he'll keep crafting for right. us. And how do I put them out? I have to put them onto the active sparks. Yeah. I'm looking at two, there we go. Then, like space, I think if you hold down space, you get a target reticule. I'm using the controller. Um, A, maybe? It should stay on the bottom left corner. Oh, left trigger. Left trigger, there you go. It's also those, the weird, like, um, stone columns with a purple, squ pink square on top are oh, crates of loot in them. So I'm having fun with these. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, they're so cool. Do they pick them up? No. Uh, they pick up one resource, you have to throw them again, and they might pick up it, the others. Right, so I've got to find the ancient... You said you found it. Just to the left as you come out, so west. Oh. Don't mind what I do. How do I take all? Oh, transfer. Transfer. Um. Whereabouts? Are you, on, are you at it? No, no, it's west of here. Okay. It's straight west. There's a. If you look on the map. Go southwest these. now. Go south. All right. What do these ones give you? They're just bushes. I don't think give you anything. They just give you wood and stuff. All right. Okay. So it's these ones I want, isn't it? And these are bushes. Wait. What? The ones of oh corpses. Um, you come over here. These ones. Oh, these ones, right, okay. The one you can see the little white skeleton bit sticking out then. Go oh, yeah. I see. These chests. I've certainly got some goodies in. Mm. Uh, transfer, transfer. Oh, they are basically chests, aren't they? Yeah. 40. Oh, um. I'm guessing you need all of these, essentially. You need lots of them, yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'm not enjoying the silence right now. So I'm going to turn the music down, although it's very cute. And I'm going to put some of my usual on. A bit of deep house, you know. If I can find it anywhere. Um, there you go. Music. View all. Deep house. No vocals. Let's do duration between three. Uh, no, let's do between six and seven minutes. And we'll keep the BPM down to about there. Go. Perfect. Right. Oh, there's a big dude over there. So science him. I mean, <laughs> he was in the demo. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I met them in the him in the demo. Mm. Where am I going? West, you say? You went way too far, basically. Oh. I don't know. If I'm in the next a... biome. <laughs> yeah. It's like south. If you open the map, you can see it. There's a big dotted circle around it. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Found it. Nice. We touched the shrine. It surely was to life. It seems to be running some kind of test, checking everything so it works. There's a hiss of steam as the machine finishes the process. It seems to have refined a etheric pellet into ether shards. The shrine states they are now fully functional and ready to be put to use. Wait, what? 
and to hold it down, if you put a stumpy guy in the bottom spark slot, it will auto craft. If you you mount to the inventory management. Yeah. If you like right click on a slot, it will split off one and stuff like that. Okay. But chewing, does it go faster? Yes. Yeah. But I can't make them here. I have to go back to the other one to make. Yeah. Okay. We will get buildings to craft them ourselves. Like, set up our own buildings for it. Okay. So one of those makes six of those. Got it. Oh dear. So got me got me mountain bike out today. Oh yeah. Yeah, lubed it all up. Got me mm. mountain mountain bike shorts arrived today. Gonna nip out on it for a couple of days. Well, not for the whole couple of days. Yeah. But um So where am I going? So I'm going East. That way. So what's this? Can't do anything more. I can't get through. Oh, there you go. Well, what's this one? Is this the first one? Yeah, um, I think so. Turn your screen so it looks different. There's a whole load of oh, barks in the ready for collection. Complete the quest at the Define Researcher. Oh, Ooh, you've unlocked it. Fantastic. Did you check out the shrine? What changed there? Complete. You tell the Define Researcher on everything you've seen about the ancient shrine especially the rather strange creature that came out of it after you fixed it so they're called sparks you say how unusual clearly i have some research to do hmm they're quite cute you should show them around maybe others in the village will have some thoughts or ideas on them okay so if i go camera controls then yeah that's don't need that don't need that Done that, done that, done that, done. Oh, so there's no main quests now. Um, go talk to the lumber guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's Spark stuff going? You update the woodsman on what has recently happened, including you having recently unlocked some new shrines at the village monument. Mm hmm. Hmm. You know, when my grandfather explored the woodlands a long while ago, he described in his notes a shrine with strange-looking statue. Thinking about it, it might be a spark machine. Here, I'll mark it on the map. Sweet. Hope these notes are still useful and you find something there. Grandy never had the best handwriting. New quest started. Uh, I'll do him. Huh? Hey, so those weird dolls of yours, they follow your instructions, mm. right? You think they can carry stuff too? So he wants some as well. Okay. Sweet. So I'm guessing there's tons in here, is there? There should be a few, yeah. If you right click on it, it'll take you see the part of them in the thing right next to your character. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah. So if you like close out of the inventory menu and just right click on it to collect them. You don't actually have to go into its inventory. You can take them all, I've got seven already and I'm getting wood to get more. Okay. Cool, cool. So how many he wanted three, didn't he? Um this one. It 
works. They walk on paths. They even pick up and drop off items to buildings that they pass. Aww. Then you walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Here, let me show you how to make a dirt path. Dirt path. Huh? Try it out. Except oh. it. Tell me how it went. Mouse. <laughs> we have to build a logging camp, right? But we haven't got the logger unlocked. Is that a thing needs to be done at the town monument? What's going on? Basic dev parts. It's not telling me how to make it. B path. Where can I make it on here? On here? On here? I've got to follow the instructions. Do this, dude. Mm. Mm. I've done that, haven't I? Boom. So he wants ten log. Some stone, stone as well. and two stumpies. I right, come get some stone. You stolen all the stone. The ancient waypoint stands in front of you. It goes to the carvings and stone begins to create words. Waypoint inactive. Okay, so that's basically teleporter. Yeah, I didn't quite understand how they worked before because they um, require a constant supply of wood. Here you go, mate. Wood at my f stone at my feet. How many? 14. That's enough to do the quest. Okay. Sweet. Did you do that? No, that's the... She, the logistics person you're speaking to, speak to does that. Oh, okay. When she says, I'll, I'll show you what I mean, she does that. I don't know why it wasn't showing up before, because it showed up immediately. Wait, what? I wonder how, uh, did you get everything already? If you forgot what you should do, you should check out the quest log. Okay. Sweet. Of course, since they're so small, they'll need a low table and it's done. One very important thing, you'll need be elephant, be elephant, be elephant, be elephant, carpe, carap, what? Be elephant carapace to carapace. build the logger. What? Carcapace, isn't it? Car like no. the, the corpse, basically. Yeah, but it's spelled differently. I know. It's carapace, yeah. To build the logger. The carapace stabilizes the ether in the giant mm. trees you see. Ah, you don't really need to know what that means, but let me tell you, I've personally tried harvesting these giant trees without an etheric stabilizer, and it took two whole months to regrow my mustache. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can find those things from the things and um, that are around the woodlands, but for now, I'll give you what I have spare. Cool. So where do you do the building then? Is that supposed to be done here? Or is it in the woods? Hello? If you. This big tree next to the entrance. No, the question was where do you do the building? Do you do outside. it in the woods or. Outside, like this area, anywhere in this area you can right, build. Okay. But if you stick a logger down this big tree here. 
I haven't got a logger. Press B. Didn't he give you the stuff to make it? Press B. I'm press B. Oh, it's behind. Your control console. Um, not your inventory. Open your build menu. Uh, why? You need to see the harvesters as the logger. That's it. And then we can build a half. See this little bucket like at the bottom of it. Infinite resource. Yeah, so it's all, I'll put two stompy sparks in it, it just pumps out wood now into that little bucket at the front. You see it's throwing out logs. Oh, what, until that tree's gone and then you move nope, the logs? No, forever. That's what oh, infinite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is infinite wood supply. That's what the guy was talking about. If you don't have one of the, the um, things to stabilise it, he had to a month for him to grow back his moustache, or two months to grow back his moustache. Right, okay. So what we can do is we can build a little path that goes from there over to here, into there. And then if we throw it, oh, I don't want to read that thing, go away. If I throw a little guy on there, he'll start running back with the forwards and taking the logs. Right, okay. So they'll also deliver logs here. So as long as we keep coming back and putting some shards in, they'll just keep making more of themselves. Cool. Craft the stumpy spark. So, so I, I need to do that. I'll do that. Because otherwise I'm not going to learn it. Oh, it's doing it already. Okay. It's got some made, but yeah. It's counting up already. They're, they're making them already, right. automatically, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So I should just put in any shards? Yeah, any shards? Yeah. Okay. You've got loads of them, haven't you? Jeez. Yeah. Don't keep taking them out. I don't understand now, it's still on five. I'm trying to speed it up. Well, there's more than more. five. Yeah, but there's some of the ones I've made before you got this quest. Okay. The whole time you've been I there, haven't I've made any. Make... Okay. They've been automatic me and I haven't personally been making them. There you go, six. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah, well, the, the automation is a really nice take on automation. It's not the traditional conveyor belt. Yeah. Right. There's been a couple of games recently that have taken a different take on the core and principles of an automation game. Right, are we up to ten yet? No, we've got two more. Can you look on the map, mode. Maybe a slip button and then whatever. Maybe it's that white circle. Yeah. There'll be a shrine in there that we need is the other mission you've got is to. Right, I've got to go back to the quartermaster. So we're ready to go already? Which one's the quartermaster? Not that one. No, it's one right next to the one of the paths outside with the little guys running on it. Let's go! Achievement. Automation Pioneer. I'm not. Please. She nods as you explain to her about what happened when you created the production line. Her lips relax into a soft and satisfied Hi. smile. Okay. Nice. Here, I made some storage buildings for you and the Sparks. Okay. Find the Spark Shrine. So that's the one we've got to go and find out. Ah, I see. I remember this. Shiny.
Right, you touch the shrine, it slowly wears to life. It seems to be running some kind of test, checking that everything still works. This one spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. The shrine registers that the crafty spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. The crafty spark waves at you, um, ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything can be done, puff of magic spark turns into a disc. Right, okay. Okay. Um, so this one needs stumpies and wood panel. We can make the wood panel yet, can we? Oh. Getting used to the controls. Doesn't look like I can make anything. No. Need to. I'm guessing go back to town and talk to the guy again, I think. Why am I walking around like, with my hand out? So you're about to hope it's poke with someone? Go. Okay. Uh, so who do I need to speak to with this one? Not the same one, is it? Is it this one? Mm. Right. So I was thinking maybe we can get these sparks to just not harvest the wood, but actually craft with it. I think you need quite a lot of materials to try out some different ideas, but you and your sparks can do it. Mm. Okay. So I need need wood. I'm hoping there's going to be a hundred wood in there. Yeah. 20, 40, 60. There's the bucket next to this purple tablet thing. That's got more wood in it. One logger for the bucket. Yeah, there's some in the wood logger as well. There's also that wooden bucket. I can't access that. Hang on. There you go, got it. I like that it's a drag. Mm. Right, no rush with the thing I asked. What, oh, hang on. Got them in there, haven't I? Scream at me because I'm dragging and dropping them. It's just that I've got my controller and me left stand. Hopefully, it'll give me. There we go. A saw bench and saw timber. Does it mean it's open, unlocked it for you as well? Yeah. Right, so I need to make one of those, do I? So we're going to build. Um, I can't make it. Oh, saw bench. I need to get wood. Okay. It's a logger. I don't want a logger. Uh, recipes. Nope. Crawled for a little bit. Take a minute to get used to the thing. Right, so. Can you place it in this. where I'm stood here? Next to the other machine. That's it, perfect. And then 
and if you build a path just from the corner of where it goes into the crafty spark, there's one left. From here? Wait, no, from here. Go from here. Just the one where it goes into the machine, if you just make it so there's a little square of two wide like, paths on the end. I'm not making sense, am I? No. Same as that one. Like that. Ah, oh, right, okay. So, what happened now is they go to that crafting spark swamp. When that's full of wood, they'll come to the sawmill instead. You see, they can't put any more in there. Right. So, they're walking okay. past it and they put it in the sawmill instead. Right. Cool. That should have been a. Oh, I haven't got any quests now. Okay, 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 okay. So now what? I'll go back and talk to somebody. I'm sure there's somebody in it. So. Yeah. That's my guess, is it's just going to be lots of quests to start with. I've been looking through my research and it seems these sparks are entirely unique. You're the first person to discover such a thing. What? Are you surprised that this old man can actually do some work? Divine technology is my speciality. I'll have you know, I've been, th been thinking maybe we can recreate these spark machines. The divine researcher grins, his eyes full of passion. He takes out several pages full of questions that he's prepared to ask you. Oh, great. Holy Lord. One of those Except. people. Hmm. Okay, so. You want a stumpy spark. You want one of those, do you? Okay, I can do that. And you want some ether shards, I can do that too. And you want some more wood. Okay. okay 95 wood. Take another wood, Calvin. I need the wood. Oh, hang on. Stuck on seven. Um, I've got something. Like Sixty, seventy. I need twenty-five. Yeah. There's thirty at my feet. Uh, so pop. Why is it? oh okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's quite a lot I know, but I'm sure you'll be able to do it very quickly. Or did you get everything already? <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> I'm done. So there's no way of building this without ancient bases. The, the piping is vital and I can't quite replicate it, but I've also made uh, it process agnostic. It means you can use it to make other types of sparks. What well, I know, there are more shrines out there. I bet you're, I bet you're a warm dinner that there's more sparks too. Be a bit boring if it's just two, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, I always thought that these statues were minor deities, but to think that they were these creatures. Ho, 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 ho. So I need 
to Wooden Spark. That's done. Okay. Completed. So what's next? I did see another. There we go. What do you want? Oh, those spark thingies you found. Which one of you is the enigmatic being? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Calvin? <laughs> I don't know. Is the chat... Say, say something, Bruce. Is the chat still coming up on screen? Oh, those spark thingies you found are rather cute. I'm sure lots of people will come far and wide to study them. Although our village is little, is a little undeveloped. Yeah, it's okay, cool. Chat on screen or no? Yes. Uh, we never had much of a reason to grow. But maybe we can do something to those who can help you study the sparks. Uh, but maybe we can do something so those who can help you study the sparks will come and stay. I need 80 wood and 40 sawn, sawn timber. So is there, is there another big one of those big trees around? Yeah, I don't think we can do more than one. We don't think we need what was the thing we needed for crafting them? Um, we need the elephant carcass thing. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Got yeah. All right. So we just have to. Oh, hang on. Have you got? You've got a crafty, you've got a spark, right? If you like, aim at a tree, if you take some of the basic sparks out of this box here, it's behind the machine. There's a bucket, a barrel, sorry. I've got a load already. Have you? Oh, put them in your actor spark because they're the crafty boy. You can only have 10 in the slot. Yeah, yeah, it's only 10 in the slot, yeah. So if you throw them, if you hold down your left trigger and then aim at a tree, you can tell them to go gather it. Oh, okay. I said tree. Um, I didn't mean that tree. Sorry. Um, do you... When you hold down your left trigger, they all knock themselves out because they can't harvest that bigger tree than little trees. If you... You need to recall them, so if you hold down your left trigger and press B when you're hovering over them. Or just... yeah. Try again on the smaller trees. Sorry, that was a really bad description. But you were showing, showing the YouTube video how not to do it. That's yeah. what that was. Yeah. So you can, I, I tend to just throw one or two at a tree and harvest multiple trees at the same time. Uh, but I have to go and pick up the wood, right? So we'll pick up one piece of wood each. So if you throw like three at a tree and it drops three bits of wood, in theory they'll pick it all up. Right, okay. Theory failed. Yeah, you can also throw them like at the log if you highlight that like, your aim on the log. If you get to highlight log and you throw a spark, it'll go pick it up. <laughs> That's quite cool. Yeah. So how many? How much? How much wood does a wood chuck? Wood if a wood chuck could chuck? So how many do I need? Eighty. This is only eighty. I've got 30, 31 and it says I haven't got any. Oh, it's because I haven't delivered it. Right. Okay. There's some more in the barrel back of the thing. I dropped all the wood I had in there. There should be some more in there. What about, sorry? In the one next to the logger. With that barrel there. How many do I need? How many do I need? A hundred. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And what else was it? Uh, sawn timber. Where is that going? In the bucket behind? Yeah. I'd put them a little bit further away if I could, but because of that bloke bit of ground, there's just no option to. So where's all the timber? Sawn timber? In the, there's a barrel next to the output. Right, and how many of them should I need? 40. Cool. This is working well, actually. Get much more done. Yeah. Uh, I need to go down this way. So it's shift uh, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two. Oh, I only need 80. Okay. The mayor takes inventory of the items she asked for with disbelief. disbelief. Oh. Amazing, I never managed you... I, oh my god, my talking today. Same as every other day. I never imagined that you could get so much so quickly. Thank you so much. My dear, we'll make sure to put this all to good use. So I'm obviously getting a uh, Pikmin vibe. Yep, absolutely. Um, but it reminds me more of the wild at heart and ooblets with the farming interested to see where the automation takes us yeah ah. don't forget to take breaks okay i'm proud of you no matter what you do always have been okay village expansion so now i can talk to her again or i can go off and talk to other people ah. have you talked to the merchant okay oh. pin. got to talk to the merchant Oh, now I need more timber and more wood. He's not the merchant. Oops, I was looking at the map. That's not the merchant. Here's the merchant. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Are those sparks of yours good at defending themselves? Or, say, a trade caravan? We avoid disturbing wild animals, but sometimes they attack. And of course, there are also bandits. Oh. Maybe they can help, but uh, you should start with something weak. Hunt something. Hunt some field spunnies for me. <laughs> you can find a lot of them in the woodlands. Oh, man. Mm. Don't confuse them with forest spunnies, right? If you attack one of those, whole nest will come after you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why it's really important to read. What? What, what? These guys have all stopped. I don't know why. Calvin's broken it. One of them was just stood still. He wouldn't move. Did you kill him? I put him in my pocket and killed him. Oh. Oh. Nice that there's something to be doing while the automation kind of automates. Yeah. Like some games stopped? don't give you something. You just end up kind of sitting there twiddling your thumbs or trying to make what you've got go faster. wonder why it went so quiet. <clears throat> right, okay. So I need to do one more. Um, I'm about to kill one. There you go.
You, don't you encroach on my job. Sorry. Got one job. I need to gather the purple shard things, aether shards. Oh, if you need them, I've got, I might have some you can have. Making more of the little dumpy guys. Where are you? Come here. Just pop them in, pop it, fill up the um, prop, prop machine that's making the guys. This one. Of, yeah, just fill that up with as many as we'll put in. Perfect. That's brought you more. No, it only it didn't put that many in. It put like three in. Yeah, it was closer to a full stack than I thought it was. Uh, I need to go to the merchant. Pumpkin's got in the way. Oh. One in one hit, you say? Huh. That's much better than I had expected. They looked so cute, I thought they wouldn't be able to do much. Here, a little something for your time. Thanks. Oh. Okay, okay, let's skip the forest spunnies. Do you think your sparks could hunt the bee elephant? Ah, oh, okay. Oh. I've heard that there's only the docile type in the woods near the village so they shouldn't be too dangerous oh. okay mm. okay don't get yourself hurt alright or the mayor's going to give me an earful sweet let's go let's observe chat in its natural habitat in the wild digital savanna of odd sparks a new game has emerged and the majestic creature known as Mojo Games is at the helm. With no recent chatter to echo through the virtual planes, our streamer embarks on an automation adventure where clicks and clacks mimic the sounds of progress. Stay tuned as this enigmatic being navigates uncharted territories of ones and zeros. So that's basically the AI bot taking a dig that nobody said anything in chat. It's <laughs> rude. Very rude. Um, i trying to remember where the heffalant was. I'm pretty sure it was west. Oh, that's a beerfant corpse. Wait, what can I... Harvest that. the other needs oh that's fine oh, i lost loads do you want them what no no i lost loads oh, of my my dudes yeah your dudes yeah when he does a little jump in the air they just get one hit oh, what's this put your um aether shards in here the aether in paddock even oh should i put more in there i don't know if there's a much use no i'll keep boys. them yeah. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, that's fine. You're, you're doing really well on collecting the um, Aether Shards anyway, so I'm not. I guess that's what you get for being the one out doing the exploring. Oh yeah, just doing my job. Right, so I need to go back and tell the merchant.
Right, done. The merchant stares in disbelief at you. Oh my god. The merchant stares at you in disbelief as you recount your efforts to take down the beelfin. Beelfin. Belefin. Beelfin. Their eyes flicker left and right as they try to mentally connect things and finally they look at you. Hmm. Hmm. I need to talk to the mayor about this. I don't think you or anyone else in this village actually understand what it means and how this will look to others. You've made something that can manufacture an army. Hmm. There's a saving grace that you're not particularly capable, but you're in, in the wrong hands. They're already capable enough. I'll have to take care of this. You, you can go. I have a lot of letters to write. Okay. Sweet. So what do you want? Ah. These sparks are very silly. They keep walking around in very long ways. You, they need instructing. Oh, okay. There you go. Presents for you. Oh, no, I haven't got oh, it yet. I need wood oh, panel what? and sawn, t sawn timber. Wood panel? Yeah. I'm start making those yet. Making... I don't think we can make the panel yet. Has the logger got any quests? I'm going to have a look. Um, I'm just going to rest. Have we got any of the um, sparks anywhere? Yeah, there should be in that barrel behind the. Like sparks and there's a little barrel there. Take as many as you need. Ten's fine. Well, if you take this bear, some ten you can you have some in case you know yeah. you lose them. But the log is up here, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello there. You know how your sparks can turn wooden logs into sawn timber. Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe we can get them to make something even more refined. Do you want to give me a hand? Yes. Great, let's expand it. Let's try expanding just a little and see how the logger and saw bench work at scale. Build loggers two. Build saw benches two. Sawn timber eighty. So I need sawn timber. Right, it's making. There should um, be some there's a barrel behind the next to where the spark has been made there's a barrel the other side of the next to the saw bench thing that should have some sawn timber in it this one yeah. uh Ruth says imagine if i was as rude about ai as it is about us disdain is the first step towards skynet <laughs> oh I tracked the wrong one. No. Oh. Well, doesn't matter. If you oh. put stuff in multiple quests when you go back, you can. Got to deliver 80. Okay, that's fine. 20, 40, 80. Oh, I only brought 60. Damn it. Right, try again. Right. Complete. You describe your findings at the woodman as the woodman appraises the saw timber. He nods slowly. His mind connects the dots on the finer details of the spark-sized machines. Mm -hmm. 
this of course this makes it a lot easier you can just create multiple settings for everything think of it as a recipe and if you need to create a new setting in the saw bench all you need to do is click OK there we go very polished already this game isn't it yeah Right, so, so the oh, that's making the timber. I want, that. I want take uh, forty sawn. Come on, I just need one more. There we go. But actually, you're going to need sawn timber for the. You only got to put it near it as well, that's cool. It kind of highlights what you're going to harvest. It's quite good. The demo didn't have that. You just kind of threw them next to something and they harvest it. They've obviously made some changes which I would have said are an improvement since the demo. Yeah. Right, so I reckon I need to create another saw bench. Isn't that because... Uh, no, wait, what? So the saw benches have multiple recipes. If you come a bit east, let's see what I'm trying to set up. No, I've got it here. I can see it. So, can I try it? Yeah. Watch as Mo attempts some automation. Listen, can you hear that? Yeah. That is the sound of Calvin screaming inside. Okay. Um, you can know what you should change it afterwards, can't you? Yeah, the recipe can be changed again, yeah. No, I mean, as in, you can move stuff around. Yeah, 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 you can pick up that stuff, yeah. Right, okay. So can I put a path, separate path? Yeah, I should be able to put a separate path. Sorry. Let me work this out. I'm not asking. Okay. I'm just, just talking out loud. Answer. Yeah. I'm thinking if I... Oh, no, it's saying no there. Oh, no, it isn't. You can't build too close to the um, entrance bit of the town. Oh man, I just realised what ingredients it needs. That's fine, I can fix that. Right, okay, so I'm going to... Can they go up? Yeah. I don't think the inputs and outputs can be on the slope though. I think you know, the path has to be flat for them to be able to interact with the building. No, that's fair enough. Um, I'm just working it out at the moment. Hang on. How do I delete stuff? Um, and how do I pull them the off? Build, if you, if you pull them off by mouse and right click recall. Yeah, you've got that. You've got that. Right, so, um, so if I go to there and go to there. 
and then go. How do I delete it? Um, left trigger. Oh no, X. You should be able to like click drag and I don't know, maybe you can't have a controller. Is that going to just get rid of the dirt path, I hope? Yeah, um, I don't know. It doesn't look like yeah. it's highlighting a building, yeah. Right, okay. So... Okay, right, okay. Um, you're confusing me! Sorry, <laughs> my guy's one of the purple leaves. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> I'll go over here. <laughs> I'll go back to my little... a very polite place. way of saying... Oh my God! <laughs> How do I rotate it? X. Right, I'm just going to play. Oh, hang on. Oh, I need freaking wood. There's a wood in that barrel just to the right of the lobby oh, as shit. well. I just picked up all the wood. Oh. I've got enough wood now, though. Nice. Right, okay. So I'm going to put this one uh, there. And then this one there and then this one's going to do sawn timber and then this one's going to do a wood panel can I get with that tree I can't can I no Damn it. not at this stage as you progress we'll get better and better um, sparks that can do more and more how do I get rid of it How do I get rid of it? How can I destroy it? Same as you did with the path. I think you have to put down the building you've got in your hand, though. Like, get to remove it from your selection. Not to put it down, I'll say. Hey, hey, Hobbinator. Welcome on in. Hobbinator! Sorry, Miss you. We're both very distracted by the automation crafting. Actually, I can do it just like this. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I think. But I'm going to do it like that just in case. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to put one there. I'm going to set up one at a time, actually. So I'm going to take the path, which is that one. Nope. And then I'm going to go from here to here. And from here is that right no right so that's the input so I get if I put like yeah, don't one, necessarily two, need three, to put the little loop in um, they will turn around on the path like they always walk on the right hand side of the path yeah, yeah, just looks so at the end of the path, they just do a UE, but yeah. And then from here, I'm going to do another one of these. And then make the input for that one here. And then do a path from here. There. And you say they'll just turn back, right? Yeah. Now, two on here. You have to put um, sparks in the building as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm just setting it all up. I'm um, just, just, yeah, just checking. I've got two left. Look. Yeah. Right. So at the moment they're going to take that, and so I need to bit put a so the bucket thing. Um, I'll need another one then, Rono, to take it from the output to the bucket, right? Yeah. Um, so to build the bucket, I do that and put that here. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And it, then, well, it needs to be the other way around. They have an input side. They have a little white bracket on them. White bracket of the arrow that's your input output. So you need that facing your path. 
I was only putting it like that. It's a bit awkward because of how the selecting it or the building, even though I'm struggling using the keyboard and mouse. Um, so you might, you could, I only put them like that before because of the slope behind the machines, but I couldn't put it any further away really. Right, okay. So you could place it like a tile away and it might be easier to access. It's a bit. So I've gone like that and then I put one of those in there. I put one in each for now, and then put that one in there. So, are they not actually getting any wood? No. Uh, so if you, the loggers only have one little output on the front of them. Oh right. Okay. So if you move that barrel, you could have them loop around onto your path instead of emptying any excess into the barrel. But um, the limiting factor becomes the like, how fast the sparks can move on the path. <laughs> it's filling up quicker than it's going to take it. Going to take it. Collect, collect. Uh, do that, and then do. That and then do that, and then do that. Wait, is that going to work though? Do I have to go to there? Yeah, you have to connect two paths together if you, yeah. So any that oh. don't get, you could remove the original sawn timber building. Oh, they're all doing it now. Yeah, they'll do a whole loop all the way around this. Oh, that's quite cool. I quite like yeah. that. I know, it's, I know it's probably not as efficient not as it could be. Not very efficient, but... Oh, and this I need to turn into... Oh, quick, uh, quick, mo, 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 mo. Why can't I select it? Oh, what's there? This I need to turn in... Oh, I've already done that. No, 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 no. Needs to be done. Come on. Oh, this one, one's gone out. So they're going to pick it up. Yay! Nailed it. Right, no, that's not quite done yet, is it? Why is this one not working? Do I click on it? Yeah, oh, it needs two. Yeah. There you go. Efficiency often looks more boring than chaos. I vote keep the long way. Yeah. I mean, Until I'm just, not looking. <laughs> you can just throw more sparks on the path yeah. to bring the efficiency back up and get yeah. Ruse's chaos. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Right, so how do I make the um, sparks again? They're in that middle building of the three that are in front of the tree. So... There should be just a whole bunch in the barrel. I mean, you might have to top it up with Aether Shards, the actual machine. All oh, right. Okay. Open. Yeah, I think I can do that. Ca um, he wants chaos. Oops. Um, what's your name again? Having me. Oh, where's my inventory? I can't open my inventory. I've forgotten. B. B. B for inventory. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. B. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> That is so cool. 11, 12. There we go. Well, there seems to be priority over that way somewhat, for some reason. Oh, here we go. Well, they don't priority. They only walk on the right hand side of the path. Yeah, so they're going to those other machines first. And once it's filled up that bucket of sawn timber, there'll be a lot more wood coming through to go to your little production. Oh, I see, right. I mean, I could make it so it doesn't put them in there. Uh, it, it joins up here, right? But 
we want to be able to, we want it to keep having availability for everything. So yeah, it's, it'll eventually yeah. get there, won't it? And once you get the next logistic things as signs, we can start to do like half go this way, half go that way, and stuff like that. That's what I think I'm going to get after this bit. Yeah. Um. Oh, I need another. Oh, there's a few. There's a few dogs going up there now. Yeah, selecting buckets is quite awkward on the controller. When they're tucked into the machine like that, it is a bit. I mean, I'm finding that a bit awkward with keyboard and mouse, mate. So. Or with the mouse, you can just hover over it and right-click it or open it. You know. Yeah. You have to rotate the camera to the right angle, otherwise it just doesn't let you highlight the bucket at all. Oh, got you, yeah, yeah. Nice. So how many of those have I got now then? Five. It might be a minute. I know there's a lot more logs coming this way. So you want to build a tunnel down to the core, do you? Don't worry, I've got you. Well, the music that's on now is the music I use for that video. <laughs> it just completely triggered me. How's Hobbinator anyway? What have you been up to? Tell me all about it. How's your laptop doing? Because I know you were having some trouble with it the other day. What games are you playing? Are you missing me on YouTube? Did you see the shorts? So many questions. Pretty cool. I bet it gets really complicated. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Kind of thinking we should have done it on your save, because you're going to have to start again, aren't you? That's alright. Unless I can share the save, I might be able to share the save. But this is a uh, key mailer sponsored stream. Got this one from Keymailer. Let's do the thing. Um, whilst that's doing its thing. Okay, if I stand in the middle, get a nice view of it. Up. I bet, oh yeah, I've seen some of the screenshots as I was searching for the uh, thumbnail. There's some really complicated builds. Yeah. So, hobbinator has been playing a variety of games, including some Minecraft and some Jedi Fallen Order. My Not laptop's bad. doing great. Perfect. So, oh, speaking of laptops. Oh, you know I'm a bit of an Apple fan. Oh, no. They've released a new iPad Pro. Oh, yeah. It's been a year since the last one, so, yeah. Yeah. I've released a new one. Text um, on Miles. Yeah, it has. <laughs> so when I bought my MacBook Pro, it was the Apple M2. It was the release of the Apple M2. The M1 had been out for a year, <laughs> so they had to bring out a new one. So they brought out the M2. Um, my work MacBook that's on its way is an M3 um, MacBook Air. I thought, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's going to that's be really cool. The iPad Pro... The new one is you can have a 12 or a 15 inch and it's m4 <laughs> mm. 
Oh, it's crazy. Oh, they look f absolutely phenomenal. It's ridiculous how much power they've got. But um, I'm, I, I, all I'm using my iPad Pro for at the moment is a, is a touch. It's for a touch portal and a, a Steam Deck. I don't really use it for anything else. But my daughter, on the other hand, absolutely uses her MacBook. Uh, sorry, her um, iPad for everything. I mean, she's got the pen. She does all her arty stuff on it and everything. <laughs> Those pros need a new iPad to make them more pro. So anyway, they, that came out today, so that's kind of wet me appetite a little bit. Um. Oh, no worries, Hobbinator. They're, yeah, some of them come out. It's really weird. They're all doing around 400 views each. And then they stop. So I'm guessing it's just been sent out to the same people. <laughs> um, I need to get the link for this. The problem is, is the sound stops as soon as I click away from it. Um. But you can't see that. Um, so I need to do this disclosure thing. So I'll quickly do that in chat. Spending money. Spending more money. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. I am. I, I, I haven't. No, they're, they're, they're different class. The, it's just so expensive, though. And they release yeah. new things every year. Yeah. Right, it's just... But this MacBook Pro that I've got here is going nowhere. And that will last me probably seven to ten years. Uh, whereas uh, yeah. an, an, an I, uh, a um, laptop normally lasts, if you're lucky, five. I don't know what you're talking about. I've had my laptop since I was six, 15. Yeah, like if you're just watching porn on it, it's going to last forever. I suppose, yeah. Um, I don't do any art on it, no. <laughs> any art or music it creation. To, and... It used to be my main gaming laptop. It used to be your main gaming laptop. Yep, I, mean, so oh. I brought it for. It was my gaming computer when I got it. Didn't have a desktop PC at that point. I need to get the link for the game, Calvin. How do I do that? I need to go to Steam, don't I? So, Lurk could give you an Steam actual link. link. Sorry? Do you just want the Steam link? So yeah, 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 just just dump it in the channel. Not, not that there's anyone there, but it will come up on the, on the um, chat. Let's check up with the right link. Yeah. Sad at the moment. Oh, nice. So I <laughs> you were getting a just, special link, otherwise it'll it sooner for you. Do it a few turns, two few times. There you go. Um, do you want to banned from, by the bot for spamming? Yeah, I think all you need to do, Rivs, is get a bigger screen so you can have it further away. Then you'll be fine. <laughs> Top tip. Okay, mate. Um, follow me. Oh, hang on. Uh, wait. Uh, I've got all this junk on me. How, where can I put it all? Oh, by the there's um some barrels by the thing here. Leaves and shite go in there. There's also oh the storage shed. Those over there. What's that got? That's got a lot more storage space in it. Oh, I just collected all the leaves. Don't do that. I've got one of those um, carcasses. I love you. We can go and do another tree, can't we? Oh, I was going to show you what I've been working on while you were doing your thing. Oh, okay. All right, I'm coming. Let's go. Oh my god. Are oh, you already started one? Yeah. Oh, we could do two here then. No, unfortunately we can't because it's blocked by this tree and this tree. Ah. Uh, on this back tree, but. I'm guessing you is, can. This is perfect ratio. So adding another logger into this is, doesn't actually help. Right, okay. Yeah, but Main. you could do another one over here. <laughs> I could do, yeah. But there should be your sawn logs and planks here that you need. Oh, okay. I'm going to need uh, 20 panels. There was two quests at the minute. And then what was the other one? 160 sawn timber. But there's also the bucket back at base. 
20. I might as well just take all of that then, right? Yeah, go, yeah. Ribs. <laughs> I mean, 40 foot Mario Kart was great, but 40 foot hub is so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. So, what have you been doing on Minecraft then, Hobbinator? That is a game that I, I've, I've, I've tried to. I enjoy playing it with my daughter, but it only lasts about an hour tops. Or should I say, she can only put up with me for an hour tops. For me, normal Minecraft only lasts for an hour, and I'm bored of it. I have to go for the massive like, overhaul packs to add in all the different things. Basically make Minecraft into a logistics game, and I'm there for it. Yeah. Where am I supposed to be taking these to? to? Logistics. Uh, One of them is to the logistics person right by the door. The entrance to the town, not door. This one here, right, okay. Yeah. Quartermaster. Oh, that's the one. There we go. So that gets you signpost, crate, crossing and splitter. Noise. Ah. Checking out the new update. And the village expansion is further down. They added new dogs. So I need 160 sawn timber. An 80 wood panel. So I'm coming back to steal everything. Right, um, let's see how much I've made in comparison. Six! <laughs> I don't know, it's not too bad. 43, I'll take that. It's enough. I don't really play the game a lot, but I just come back to it every month or so. Yeah, a couple of hours tops. I remember how to play, get confused by new additions, fail to build over, something over ambitious, then turn it off. Yep. What are you doing? Well, I put a splitter in so you actually get some wood coming to your guys. So oh, okay. Just, I couldn't put it in over there. I was trying to keep your chaos, but it wasn't having any of it. Um, Where's all the wood gone? Which wood? I need wood. panel. Um, there should be some. Oh, no, panel's fine. Sawn. Sawn timber. Sawn timber's here. Okay, that's good. And you've got your panels you've been making. You've made panels three. are done. Okay, so Sawn timber. Out of 80. Yeah, you've I've got... got... The 20 you need. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got... Yeah. Why are these guys? They've done it again. One of them's just stopped. And I don't know why. The armadillos are cool. Ah... Also, dog arm. What the hell? I've got no idea what words are coming out of your mouths right now. Oh, dog armor. So you got the wolves you can tame in Minecraft. Yeah. You've added armor, I'm guessing, the new update for them. I always tame the. When I tame dogs, I just kept them in the house because I was scared of them dying. I think if you hand in the quest, it will leave what it doesn't need in the crate. But this way is much better. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. See? Yeah, ridges with me on the. They're too cute, so that risk dying. You just keep them in your base where they're safe. Yeah. yeah. Hello, dearie. I've heard that you started exploring closer and closer to the mountains. Really? Where'd you hear that from? Spies and slander. I know I've said it before, but please do be careful out there. Anyway, what it means is we should make sure we have someone who can help you take care of stone and other such things. And that, and what that means is we should build some stone working facilities. Okay. 
It's quite a lot of things, so no need to rush yourself. It's good to take breaks. Okay. Tree bark. How'd you get tree bark? Huh? I have some ideas. Build signs. Two. Wooden log. Transport. Transport. I'm guessing you can't transport through the um, cave into here, I suppose. Well, it wouldn't work, would it? No. Well, so signpost is literally just a map tag, I think. Is it? Yeah. Signpost. A custom signpost that marks its location on the map. Oh, gogs! Oh, come on in. Good to see you. Time to call this. God, you're going to be telling me in a minute you've got a life. Oh. Oh. I did the signpost. Nice. I know, I know. I'm sorry. No worries. Oh, bit of a Mr. lag spike. Let you off this time. The next time it'll be um oh god, credit points. What do you call them? Damn it. <laughs> if you found this video useful, please remember to smash that like button and even consider subscribing. Right, I do think that's it though, Calvin, for me. Right. Um so I'm gonna end the stream there. Odd Sparks is available on Steam and you can find the link below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>